constitutions are made by the people uh, who it is supposed to govern. It is the people that make the constitution to regulate the powers of the government. It is not government that makes constitutions for the people. So everybody knows that in the preamble to the current constitution, uh, it reads, we the people, uh, nonsense. It, everybody knows it was never the people. So it's time to stop deceiving ourselves. It is time now that this system has, it has collapsed, it, it has broken, uh, it cannot be repaired. It must be replaced. Uh, and it must be replaced with a constitution that is made by the ethnic groups who were neighbors in this geographical space before the European intrusion. Uh, we lived alongside each other uh, before the intrusion. It must be made by those people. Each and every one of them must see themselves in that new constitutional arrangement. If you do that, that guarantees peace because the, it is not armies, it is not police force that, uh, that secure peace for a people. It is a settlement. When you get that constitution of settlement, there will be peace. When you get peace, there will be progress. When you get progress, there'll be development, and then there'll be satisfaction and joy amongst the people. Right now, we have a false, a false narrative and a false existence. It is not ours. We must reject it. In that case, now, let's look at the, without a constitution, and then you mention we the people. Are the military in Nigeria or in any part of Africa, are they not the people? Are, are we saying the military people are not citizens of that country? Yeah, they're not the people. And, and I have to question, in actual fact, whether they are on our side, uh, our military. Um, the only wars I've ever known them to fight is, if, uh, seriously is against their own people. It's time that the army behave like the soldiers in other countries and be on the side of their people. Oliver Cromwell was on the side of his people. We talk about the British constitution. Oliver Cromwell was a military leader who overthrew uh, the then um, monarchical rule and introduced uh, constitutional government uh, in Britain. They were on the side of the people. Uh, our own ones, uh, they've made the people their enemies and they're enemies of the people. They need to be on side uh, with the people. This is their problem. This is their children's problem. And they need to open their eyes to that reality. 